Hello everybody, it's uh, the astrology report that I make uh, every week uh, based on the moon and that is the week of uh, December 5th which is tomorrow until uh, Sunday the December 11th. Uh, we had a little bit of crazy week yes and uh, right now the week is actually even uh, the emotion it's even increase uh, of uh, what's going on and specifically we talk about uh, that um, um, there is some a lot of changes that's going on and specifically that the moon right now it's uh, approaching to meet Mars and uh, the moon uh, is uh, to meet Mars uh, and Aquarius and the emotions basically because we are reacting on the base of the emotions provides the energy and the base of the energy we're acting and the base we're acting there is the things that uh, events that's happening so if you, we look at the moon of uh, what's going on, then we can kind of like uh, predict of what uh, is going to be the energy look like. Um, so um, to keep on going it right now, that um, the moon right now it's in Aquarius, and uh, um, this is uh, leading to. Um, to certain uh, position of you may looking at the f uh, on the negative side uh, depressions and searching for answers uh, is that part inside of you that uh, look at it for these unanswered uh, questions also you may look at it, uh, this part inside of you as uh, a little bit you feel like you want to rebel you want to change uh, you want to do the things uh, differently so the energy that's coming today right now when it's going towards mars and mars presents uh, the masculine energy and some of you may feel there is a lot of uh, um, sexual energy it's out there simply because Mars is right now in there so Mars is telling you hey you need to look something else you need to focus on something else and that is coming because Mars is a 19 degrees of uh, Aquarius and that is a uh, 60 degrees from uh, Uranus and um, that energy completely goes uh, also with uh, 17 degrees uh, Jupiter and Libra and it's actually trying uh, with uh, all that and um, to look at that uh, much energy is focused and empowered uh, from it a lot of we can feel this energy is present but don't understand that it's maybe not sexual maybe it's a different way of energy to uh, create a different relationships and um, right now the moon is uh, approaching to that uh, 19 degrees of uh, Mars and when they meet together uh, will create uh, two things that your intuition can uh, create high um you can have the level of understanding will come up you're gonna start feeling like okay i understand certain things are going on and you're also gonna feel like you you want to help others and mars is going to be there infusing this uh like uh, uh, telling you hey go 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 be a rebel go go change yourself go uh, this is not something stable this is not something you need to be um, you need to be focused on it you need to change and that's why the moon it's uh, gonna present this specifically we're talking about uh, tomorrow morning when you will wake up and you look at it this uh, things you're gonna may feel like uh, desire to change is like my gosh I'm tired of this life I I need to change and that's what is going to be a Monday morning. Uh, if uh, you're going into work 
and you're tired of your work you're gonna feel like oh my gosh what i'm doing i need to change the the workplace simply because right now venus is uh still in capricorn and you want to put more love into the workplace not uh, um, restrict uh, the love in there uh mercury is uh, is going to be also there in capricorn into the service so you're going to be talking more about uh, work related issues and things that you want to provide service so during right now in this uh, week uh, you will have those uh, work uh, relating talks and issues and work uh, the things out but uh, we're talking mostly about what's going to happen uh, over uh, into it and how the situation will be and this is what we represent on monday on tuesday uh, the moon will uh, move and uh, the moon is actually is going to be in pisces and that will be giving you new hope um how are you going to react on this energy when it shifts uh, it will be kind of like a in a way it's going to be start feeling pressure because when the move moves in uh, it's going to be go ahead and uh, squaring uh, the sun some uh, at some point and start feeling this pressure and you will feel like you need to escape uh, your reality kind of like uh, you want to go out and go by yourself and um, detach yourself or remove this stuff or something uh, that holds on to you it's kind of like a, I don't want to do this anymore I'm tired of this I I can't uh, some of you can kind of like uh, go and like yeah I may take some pills and go to sleep uh, some of you maybe go and get drunk uh, on it and the other thing you're gonna be looking to replace your reality uh, type of thing but if you look at it uh, on this positive uh, reality is you actually given a time and space uh, to others to do their things and uh, this will be coming in from because through talk because uh, the moon is on four degrees and mercury it's uh, four degrees of uh, pisces but mercury it's a four degrees of capricorn and um, this is a very good uh, 60 degrees aspect uh, of a flow of energy and um, through talks you will be fine how to evolve how to help but you're also gonna feel like uh, uh, your understanding level will come up which is gonna give you uh, the ideas of uh, a new hope and that energy will be again on Tuesday morning on uh, Wednesday morning that energy is still uh, uh, gonna be uh, so uh, so powerful but right now on Wednesday the moon is gonna square um, is gonna square the Sun and uh, this is gonna be like uh, the first quarter moon and there is gonna be some tensions because right now the feminine and masculine it's gonna be like uh, yeah this I feel that it's, this is something new. We never working on these problems. I don't know what is going on, but I can't look at it because simply Sagittarius looks uh, for the future, but always hangs out for the past. What happened before happened before. Uh, it's not about something that's going to be happening now. It's not necessarily to happening now. And that's why the moon is like, you know, take time and space and figure all the things out. Or you're gonna have the negative uh, part that you wanna escape all these uh, parts. So it depends how the things will move out uh, in your life. But this is gonna be coming in on Wednesday, and the big part of um, of uh, the whole day on Wednesday. And on Thursday morning, uh, the moon is actually uh, will cross into Aries, and when I cross to Aries. Uh, there's gonna be this it's gonna be at one degree of um, areas and uh, it's gonna start having this uh, tensions of uh, pressure talks uh, simply because it's gonna uh, squaring starts feel squaring with mercury 
which is Mercury, uh, by the way, uh, it's uh, going to, it's in a Capricorn and it's a work related issues. So you have to be very careful of your own anger uh, or how you express it at work. And uh, there's gonna be those uh, things because uh, uh, the moon in Aries uh, represents uh, the feelings and the desires that creates emotions. And you gotta be very careful with uh, your emotions because your emotions can get uh, out of control. And that's what Aries is very well known Aries, is that uh, when it's negative, it's out of control. You cannot control this thing. Okay, Aries, uh, if you have to tell a little uh, things about it, stays on a train track and the train's coming and Aries says, you know what? You're not going, you're trained, but you're not going. Even if they know that <laughs> the train's gonna smash them, guess what? They stay there, this is stubbornness. The stubbornness is also is gonna be uh, so much. Um, and also there's gonna be this uh, desire of uh, unnecessary push, rush, uh, pushing others or being negative about the others to control them. Now, the positive part out of this is uh, to overcome yourself here. Uh, fear about yourself, how you want to overcome uh, this part. Uh, also, you to build a self-confidence in you. So that's how you have to look at this. And that will come in because uh, at the same time, uh, See, the moon is going to be a uh, one degree uh, of uh, Aries. Venus is going to be crossing. It's going to be a one degree of uh, Aquarius. And that love will trigger those positive emotions uh, in you. But it depends how your individual, you're going to take that energy, how that uh, is going to be. And you're going to be very good, probably giving in a good directions to others. And that will be on Thursday. Uh, that's how that uh, energy will be reflecting to it. And we're going to be talking on Friday. Uh, the things could get a little bit more hectic on Friday. Uh, why is that? Uh, the moon is going to be 15 degrees in areas. And now that will start trigger this opposition with Jupiter and the relationship. So this could cause a lot of problems with the feminine side, inside and look at it, you know what, it's about me, it's about my emotions and it's about uh, myself. It's about uh, appreciation. I need to feel appreciated. I need to feel that uh, I'm respected. And that's the part of uh, the female part wants uh, to feel that it's equal not uh, under control of the masculine part. And that's what is gonna be this trigger towards, uh, towards um, Jupiter there, it's in Libra. But at the same time, it's gonna be a squaring uh, with uh, Pluto uh, that is in uh, Capricorn. And this is could create a lot of problems at work. Because Pluto, when it's in Capricorn, it's about uh, your service, the place you work, the place you serving. And you can trigger these emotions of uh, what that uh, might be. So again, if it's a negative part, you gotta be controlling your emotions. Uh, don't lose the control of yourself, uh, but uh, have this self-confidence that you're in control and you can take care of all that and everything is gonna be okay. And uh, Saturday, we're talking about Saturday morning, um, the moon is gonna be get out of uh, Aries and it's gonna approach uh, Taurus. It's gonna be get into it, which is, is uh, it's gonna be telling that if you make any decisions, you wanna make them permanent. You don't wanna uh, all the time here there it is about something that you want to create the permanent and this is going to start feeling of uh, saturday uh, morning uh, right now the the situation will be that uh, during this 
uh, the moon actually is going to square Venus and you're going to feel like uh, um, the love that it's there uh, it needs to change there is some kind of change about love because the love cannot be uh, that uh, that much the way it is because you might feel the love that it's inside as energy is not what it represents right now there is something else something out there uh, into it and um, you're gonna start feeling that uh, those changes uh, that needs to be made you're gonna be resisting them you're gonna have this uh, unreal stubbornness like the Taurus uh, they're so stubborn um, for Taurus to remind you that when they decide to remove someone from their life uh it's permanent they kind of like you know what i cut it out everything go you're done i give you chances you're done that's it you're done and um that uh, part of stubbornness will be actually square venus which is venus it's an aries and uh, aquarius and that will be change within love so now you're gonna have those two energies that uh, they're gonna be squared inside of you. And you gotta be very careful how you're gonna react on this uh, case. Uh, you can go to even to an uh, emotions of unnecessarily hate uh, during this uh, square, because this is uh, a very powerful emotions of Taurus. Uh, the ego is going to be kind of like taking over too much. Now, that's about the negative part. The positive part is that um, this, this could be a harmony. Okay, and that will comes in uh, uh, that this harmony uh, can little by little place that piece of Taurus that represents like a, a very... Uh, relax uh, um, Taurus that uh, mellow yes I'm good I'm okay I'm all right a lot of connection with art like uh, you feel this connection with the grass with the trees uh, um, with the nature you doesn't matter what's going on you're gonna feel like you you feel the earth energy inside of you like uh, you may have desires to go out for a walk a swim connected with nature go watch the birds or go into the zoo to connect with animals with earth uh, uh, stuff and the other side is that the moon when it's in taurus you can also have a romantic desire and those could be very uh, triggered specifically within the feminine side because when uh um the moon most of the Taurus that will be increased because Taurus is about love uh, also because Venus is actually controlling uh, Taurus uh, as a cold ruler of uh, Libra too so um, uh, that's what it's gonna be uh, during uh, on Saturday and we'll continue this uh, energy on Sunday but on the Sunday, the thing is going to be improved a little bit simply because uh, when the move moves, uh, it's going to be at 14 degrees on Sunday uh, in Taurus. And that will be trying uh, with uh, Pluto, it will be trying with uh, Mercury. And the place of service, or if you are a lot of spirituality, you're going to feel uh, this power of, uh, yes, I did some wrong things, okay? I will try not to repeat them anymore, but I will make some decisions to don't do this anymore. I want to make this permanent. I want to have this emotions in me that uh, I want to be in service with others. And that's how on Sunday will be very good uh, for you to have this energy because some of you will decide uh, they want to serve for others. And that's how that energy will comes up. Uh, it will be connecting you 
you to do something about it. And uh, for um, this week for the, the energy healers, the Reikis, uh, you got to be very careful because uh, you will be need to be on service because Mercury, what you're doing with your hands, it is in Capricorn and in uh, you will feel this earth energy like the healing the earth it's pretty good it's pretty healthy to heal as much as you you can't um the astrologers uh, you guys are like me uh, we are under saturn you know we are in uh, sagittarius and the sun and the saturn will meet uh, together during this week and you will feel this uh uh, need of exploring more doing things more because Saturn and the Sun they come together and the Sun will open this uh, inner knowledge inside of you uh, on it and it's gonna be pretty good because this is gonna be we're talking about uh, um, uh, trying with uh, with uh, Uranus and uh, this gonna be uh, this uh, 60 degrees uh, uh, good energy with Jupiter and that's going to be uh, very helpful uh, during this week for the astrologers to expand this part um, We're looking at for uh, the people who uh, Also, they Are out there present the knowledge the the things that comes up Um we're going to be looking at uh, for those people that are under the Pluto of expressing the unknown uh, because that's what Pluto is responsible also it's they going to be within service and they're going to be uh, pretty busy this uh, week uh, as well and to finish it with this uh, trust yourself and your soul where it leads you because uh, you can pick one or the other side of the energy, but whatever energy you picked up, there's gotta be a different uh, reasons on your own personal journey. And thank you for watching this report, and I will see you next week. Be love.